Hello and welcome to the next episode of this disaster series from The Leg Room and of course as always my life. Now we've got loads and loads of different bits and pieces to get through and as I nearly knock the haunted house top off it's been one of those weeks at the moment. Now I've got some bits and pieces that I need to run through with you. I need to move three things today. First one is the roller coaster. I need to get the roller coaster placed. I'm thinking maybe on the table directly behind me. The next thing that I need to get placed is that carousel. Now the problem is with that carousel it's so far away and the base is smashed on it because I keep moving it so many times that I'm not 100% sure where to put it. So what I'm tempted to do is just move that with this. This can then be our coffee house for the actual theme park area and then all going well, it should be absolutely fine. But the amount of stuff that I have smashed over the last couple of uploads has been disgusting. We've got the Queen Jet in there, I've got bits and pieces over there. Rocky's about to come up and join in the fun and smash everything. So when these bits and pieces are moved, I then need to speak to you guys and girls about the, obviously the leaks of the new Avengers Tower, if we think they are true or whatnot. But what I am hoping and what I've always hoped to do is I wanted to put the Avengers Tower parallel with the Daily Bugle. So I'm hoping that it will fit on a 32 by 32 base plate just in front of the diner because there is a road, as you can see, just behind it. And then behind the Daily Bugle we have got all the bits and pieces that we're going to do with the DC section as well we're going to have the Batman now I've got this in place ready to put up across the top because I think that would look quite smart just there and we have got some of the Batman cars and things like that then need to figure out what we're going to do with the rest of this stuff but for today plan of attack roller coaster carousel this apocalypse berg and then speak about the new Avengers Tower So if you're wondering why this is such a mess, if you go all the way back to episode number one, the floor had a massive hole in. So basically a little bit further behind that table is where I was stood. Massive hole happened and then I've had to rip everything out and basically start again. So we placed all the tables now. I just need to place stuff correctly. So we've got that table in the back that I need to do something with. We've got that strip that we need to do something with. This corner we need to do something with. That Ghostbusters firehouse as well, that's going to be an absolute nightmare. I'm not 100% sure where to put that. Now in Dubai, I've said this loads of times, that is actually a ride. So that is a laser shooter ride, so we can just create a queue line and then that's good to go. So that's absolutely fine. We've got a haunted section with these bits and pieces and I've got some nice new minifigures to add into this. But like I said, what I want to do is get this bit. So I think the easiest thing to do is move this first, which will go just here. But as always, what I've got to do, I've got to move this stuff. And the problem is with this stuff, I haven't got any boxes or any space to put anything anywhere because it's just a tip, basically. This is what it's turned into. So I need to figure out where I'm going to be putting this. Then I can move this and then we can crack on. Right, space has been cleared. Now, the other reason why I wanted to start on with this early on within this sort of restructure is very much, I'm not 100% sure which way to face it. Obviously, it can only go left to right on this table, so that's the space that we've got. But I don't know whether to have the roller coaster bit facing inwards, or obviously, we've got another sort of trap area just there where we can have the writing on. The plan is, is that the loop roller coaster will go here, and that will be the last purchase that will go here once the bits and pieces are in. So I can't really reach anything else so what needs to happen is the end game thing goes up there i need to get hold of the doctor strange set because i've not yet picked that up even though that isn't a huge offer at smith's at the moment then it's the loop coaster that's the, that's those three and then there's always ideas with everybody but it's just a case of getting in what i've got now now this doesn't have to move very far so i'm hoping it's not going to break now i would imagine if i can if i can just place you up against our boat to just like so he says because i've got to use this set good for something so i've never uh yeah you're on the wonky doesn't matter right we'll see if we can get this over so we have got ninjago minifigures mixed in because that'd be another upload that we're gonna have to sort all of this stuff out now this thing is absolutely massive 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 so can i get this over carefully Oh, easy. Easy, easy, easy. No drama on that one. Oh, he says, what if I just broke? <laughs> a little bit of the track came off, but nothing nothing drastic. So I can clip, clip that bit in and done. So I'm, again, not 100% sure where to plonk him on the table. I don't know where to go all the way back and have the bit in front of it like so. So we can obviously put 
um, bits and pieces in front and then wrap it around and connect it through because this thing really is massive. But I think maybe having it that way, so obviously when I'm doing the videos and doing all the other bits and pieces, it will wrap into whatever this section is going to be. Because again, what I can do and what I will be doing is I can actually walk around. So there's a gap there for me to walk around. So that's simple enough. Like so, without me falling down the loft hatch, because obviously everything's still on the floor, but that is what that would look like from the back. It is a massive looking thing, and then obviously you get your photos and things from there, or I can spin it around and have it the other way. Now, see, it's just got all the scaffolding across on the back, so it's not too bad. And at least this way, actually, what I can do is I can repair the tree, which I didn't even realize was broken. And from the back, I can actually reach the minifigures for the first ever time. So this is the first time I can actually get to the front and back of it. And then from here, we can then figure out what we want to do with this section. But let us know what you think if it should be facing as it is like that or like that, and then behind it, you'd have the loop coasters so that are both facing forward. The idea, I thought, was have the coasters parallel to each other. I'm not too sure if that works, because I just don't know what that's going to go into, and it kind of feels like this is just... I don't know, I think maybe it does work better the other way. I think these two tables are going to be standalone. That might be my winter village setup. I'm not 100% sure on this. And then this could just be an add-on to those three tables that are over there. We've got a lot of space on the tables. You can see how much space has been created over there. It's just that there's a lot of stuff on them. But when it all starts to get spread out, I am going to have a fair few tables left. So I think what we'll do for now is we'll keep that spun the other way around. And then we'll try and get that bit moved in the far corner. Right, moved it back. I actually have no idea where that tree's gone. I'm sure that was attached to it. So I need to hunt down all of those little bits and pieces. Obviously, that's just going to be our dumping ground table for now. Hopefully, again, that and that should just swap straight over. If not, that will have to go into this corner. And then, um, yeah, we can just see where we're at from there. Right, I've just come up and changed the battery and I think you can actually get some nice photos from the back. So I think that is going to be the way I'm going to do it. But again, let us know. It all needs to be repaired. I actually did drop this a while back. Yes, I dropped the whole thing. So there is bits and pieces pinging off. That's probably where I think that is. Let me know what you think would flow for the next bit of with regards to the actual city. Or oh, I say city, it is a theme park layout. Now don't forget, I have got a set of loft ladders just literally to my left leg. I'm balancing on them currently. All the other stuff that we need to figure out and add in, I think that will work well in our horror section, so that'd be absolutely fine. Gusper's Firehouse will probably go over to the horror section with our Stranger Things. Uh, the He-Man might be pulled out and that might go with um, some other bits and pieces from that. But we have got the alley just over that bit and then obviously we have got the Harry Potter. Now the other bit that's a bit confusing is the Lego Space. So I'm not 100% sure where to put that track because it is so large. So for now, maybe... I could just put it on that table until I get the loop coaster. But enough of me waffling. Let's try and get these things moved. Right, I've got you propped up in the pirate boat. Something's just broken off that again. That thing is getting absolutely devoured over the last couple of days. Now, I am really struggling already to reach this, which is really annoying because I'm not 100% sure the easiest way of grabbing it. I have found the tree, though, so that's a good thing. So the tree's there and the height thing for that roller coaster. So both of those can go on the table behind me and that can get some TLC. This needs a proper repair. You can see all the pieces that are falling off it. So that can go over there. Don't forget, I've got three cats. And the way we move stuff up here, it's not really designed to be this way, but it is what it is. So I'm just gonna drag hope if this does smash. I really will not be impressed because I do like these larger theme sets, but they are kind of got to the point where I'm starting to box myself in and it's not that not the greatest, and I can already see that the back of that is loose. What else is going to come off? I'm struggling to pick it up because I can't get my hands off much. Right, we're up, we're away. Oh dear. Did we make it? Yes, we are down. I don't even know. I just felt like that was floating. So we're on. That needs a good bit of love and care, that. But it's a really nice set because it does still spin. It does still work in case you didn't realise that it, all the cogs and everything connect up to it. So you can actually get this on a motor if you want to and you can spin it around and do whatever you need to do. Those bits are there. That's that. Now, I don't even know if I should attempt to move that now or maybe sleep on it, think about it, and then come back the following day when I can actually be bothered and I've got some energy because... It's been a long, it's been a long few days, so maybe not. Maybe I'm going to hold fire on that and figure out what else we could do. Because I'm looking at that going, maybe the Rivendell set could go there. 
and we could just have it higher up in the corner and have some water coming in but then all of this is our superhero section coming all the way across that whatever goes in that corner it needs to be big enough and not basically touched because you just can't reach it oh it's all it's all good and fun and games you go ah, yeah, you break everything but i can't reach anything when it's over there i do like the fact how we've got the daily bugle so that works absolutely fine and i do like how we've got the joe commander as well so i think that that works so i might actually leave that see what else we can do because this one is obviously after some food or he's cold because it is a horrible horrible weather day today now boats um have you picked up the new pirate one? And have you picked up the new Viking River? I'm on, on the fence with them. I don't know whether to actually sell the pirate ship or try and make some sort of display out of it. I have got the bait shop. I think that would just be lost in that corner. That's not really going to work. Um, unless I can't really put another roller coaster up in that corner if I am going to think of putting the loop coaster here. None of the Ninjago stuff will fit over there. I've got all the small fun fair stuff in that corner, so that's not really going to work. I could, I guess, maybe just put two modulars side by side. I'm struggling to put that corner garage somewhere. So the corner garage could potentially go there because if the plan of this is that it's all going to be on base plates 32 by 32 or 16 by 16 or whatever. And then we will be building all of this up over the lives eventually. So all of that will eventually happen. So we did have all of it done and then it all got ripped up and we're basically going to have to start again. But these are the road plates that we did. So you can see what these look like. So they will work so we can plonk more and more of those down. Um, but I'm just not 100% sure what to put in that corner. Um, Ghostbuster Firehouse, does that class as a superhero? Can I get away with that if I put that in at the angle? I don't, I don't, I don't know. The treehouse won't work. He is up to no good, this one. I've got my, I've got my eye on him because I know he's going to jump up because he's seen some space and something will end up going smash, which will not be good. The Jurassic Park gates can't re you know it looked nice if they went there just right at the front you just had the gates facing inwards and we had a tiny little land maybe maybe that little tiny little table just there is just all the jurassic park stuff and that takes us into the next section then it jumps down into the next section um but then with all the new sets that are coming out and i want to pick up i don't think they're all going to fit in that i am beyond stuck with that one Right, I've composed myself ever so slightly. So my thought process is the bit that goes across the top. I want to see if the new Spider-Man head will fit in that. Like I said, underneath it, I thought maybe the Doctor Strange set would fit there. So the new the new one. I don't know if that's now going to work right next to the Avengers Tower, though. So if that isn't going to work, then I am going to have to pull one of these out or two of these out and then put them somewhere else. So we can lose a row, maybe move it into the middle. The anger of the roof is very, very deceiving. But as it stands at the moment, we have got the corner garage just thrown in. And obviously with a 32 by 32 base plate, I think that needs to go there. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that there now and then figure out what's what. Right, to move it, I need to climb on the world's wonkiest table. So we are gonna give it a go, see what I'm gonna fall into. Oh my days and see exactly what is what so that is going to try and go over into the corner so can we get it over so yes there are all the broken pieces from a set that I really don't get on with whatsoever now this is going to be more than likely our hospital slash maintenance shed thing i guess that's the only thing that this can kind of be used for it was a restaurant actually at one of the universal parks they had the petrol pumps out the front and it was almost like the toilets and things like that so obviously with it being a theme park each building needs to have some kind of thing going on and obviously with the new module that will be coming out as well and i don't have the um hotel either so that's something else i need to think of but with this one let's see if we can without breaking it um, no drop the car Get this up and on. How I did not just fall off that table then, I don't know. I don't even know how that works there either. I'm not too sure it's big enough. But you can see if you have got that as a modular, you can see how quickly the bricks start coming down on itself. But remember, it's just supposed to be like a maintenance shed. You can get two 32 by 32s on there, and then you've got the little bit at the front. So I see either that or we make that like the entrance to the park, and that's where our ticket booth is and all that kind of thing. I don't know. So I'm going to need your help with that because that has really 
really done me over at the moment. I'm going to leave that corner until you guys and girls let me know. And if you guys and girls don't let me know, then I will just make it up as we go along. So what I need to figure out, in fact, what I'm going to do is go over all the bits and pieces that are in this room still. So you know what potentially could go in that corner. We'll finish up the video on that. And then I will think about the next section to do different bits and pieces with. We're going to have to clear an area. I need to clear a table off basically completely. And then we can just carry on. So if we go around from this side, we have got all of the Ninjago stuff over there. So you've got the Ninjago city, the docks and the gardens. That is our full Ninjago area. That could potentially just stay there, just be pulled out. And it can just go to this bit of the table. And then that is absolutely fine. Or... And that can be its own downtown Chinatown in a completely different thing. And then what we can do, we can just expand all of this as a huge city all the way down into this bit. And our superhero section would then be absolutely massive. And then potentially we could actually add the space roller coaster up onto that bit as well. So we've got the Joker and then we've got the loop coaster and the space coaster all round side by side. And potentially I would imagine we'll be able to do something marvel related or dc related with a space kind of theme obviously would we'll be quite cool to do it in the horror section with regards to alien but we can we'll cross that bridge when it comes to so let me know if you prefer the space coaster to go with the haunted stuff or to go with the dc marvel stuff now the next bit so that is all done we've got the fun fair stuff that'll just go basically wherever it needs to go Coming around, we have got the pirate stuff, which has just been looking sorry for itself for a very, very long period of time. We have then got in the far corner, the Winnie the Pooh, and then we've got the Flintstones. There's an A-frame. That is obviously the Rivendell set, which is a beautiful looking thing. Then we've got this thing, which the more I look at it, more than likely would probably be a better place to go than the corner garage. So maybe I should just put that there now it's going to free up a little bit of table space i'll do it and then you can let me know if you prefer it as a modular scale which is that thing or if you prefer this so i'm now officially carrying this like a pizza and i have not thought this through so i don't even know where to put you but i am hoping oh, i don't smash this on at the roof let's have a look and see if i've actually got the strength to put this down What's in the way? There's something in the way. Oh, it's the actual shelf. Right, we have made contact. We are down. Right, that is down. How far back will that go? Yeah, that's what we want. We can make that look a little bit better. So there you go, that's in the corner, so that'll work. It's it just needs to be it just needs to be moved around a little bit. The flame doesn't touch. I was just being dramatic. And then you've got Batman and the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, which I do believe that was the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn that came with that figure. But look how big the base is. Look how much space there is on that table. So let us know if you prefer a modular there or if you prefer something much larger there. But I think that might be that might be the trick. Obviously, you might want to spin that round ever so slightly and see, yes, that is a really disgusting bruise on my top of my hand. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see what that's like as you spin that through. Now, coming on to the other bits and pieces that we still need to figure out. So we've got the Rivendale stuff, easy enough. Let's see the part of the Rivendell, that is the Monkey Kid waterfall, and then the horror section, I still think we should keep the Stranger Things, potentially rip out the He-Man, somebody had suggested that, that's Jay Toy Collection, he did say about ripping that out and putting all of the different theming um, construction sets together. Some people like it together, so I'll let you guys and girls argue that in the comments below. One day I'll find the doors that fell off in, on a live a long, long time ago. We've then got the graveyards and things in front of it, and then we have got the opportunity to do a Harry Potter section somewhere. You have then got the Jurassic Park stuff across the back. You then got the figure of eight right, space roller coaster. And then you've just got stuff across the back on there. Then over on this side, you've got all of our Indiana Jones and Star Wars stuff, which is going to be sort of our main eatery of things. But potentially all that could just get sold. I've sold all of the Star Wars stuff before. I could lose with the George Lucas stuff again. Doesn't really bother me. I don't really care too much. So I can sell stuff, keep stuff, whatever. But the main focus point is where we're looking at now, which is all of this. And the more I look at it, the more it might look really, really nice if this whole table as an L shape did have all of our modulars. That way we've got room for further expansion. We can put some other bits and pieces in on here. We can create some like end game battles and all the kind of stuff that they've been doing at all the Lego conventions from Swindon. So that video is up live. That was that was really, really interesting to see. So maybe it just has a, a full wrap round loop would look smart. Then the loop coaster goes on this table. The red coaster goes here. And then 
across the back or on one of either these two tables or this table will be where all of our Ninjago stuff goes because these things are just too pretty not to be able to be seen and there will be more ceiling height if it went on that back table there not and it would actually work on this table here which is lower because these are just a little bit too tall so that actually does hit the roof so that we have got the opportunity of picking those up and moving it onto there which means potentially the Star Wars stuff could just get thrown onto the back for now so that might be a plan for a future video I'm saying this out loud now but I think that might be the next thing I'm going to do so I'm going to leave it with you and let me know if you think I should have this whole top table as a sort of superhero merge obviously we're doing marvel dc but there's anything else that you can think of that will work because i want the john wick hotel so that needs to be added in then we can get the car that he drives and we can get some other little bits and pieces it does mean that we can spread this out and create more dioramas as well which i think would work quite nicely because you guys and girls are very very good at doing all of that kind of thing and again with the avengers tower i think that looked really smart we have got this thing that i was going to try and park up at the top because obviously that's what it does in the film but it doesn't fit so maybe we could have that either hovering off the ceiling the big quinjet is in a load of pieces but the new avengers tower looks like it comes with a smaller version and it comes with the exact same minifigures by the looks of it as well so i don't know whether just to part that out and use it for other things i don't i don't know so that will be the next thing port call is obviously that needs to go with something with water so we do need to have like a watery section and we need to figure out really where that Rivendell set is going to go because it is lovely. But as it stands already with this space, with these boxes and that back bit over there, that's already a table's worth of space. And then the bit of that. So we've got about three or four tables of nothingness on it once it's all been tidied up. So I think that will work. I think that will work all right. But I am going to stop because I am beyond tired. I haven't stopped since I've come back from Canada. It's just been mental. I've done Canada. I've done swindon i've done other bits and pieces i've got other bits and pieces in the pipeline to then go off and do as well it's all carnage and chaos but it's all good fun so plan if you think it's good extend all of this all the way around because i think that will work and then that's that area that then does mean that this potentially could be used as almost our punisher display if you know you know so that could work quite well we could put daredevil and punisher on that because um I think that could work i think that might work like that could be our new uh, that could be our new punisher display we could put a park there and we could have like a greenery area in front of it again i'm saying it all out loud but i think that could work quite well because it's just a nice it's just a nice looking thing just put a 32 by 32 or a bigger size football pitch which is like a 58 by 58 big stuff thing just in front of it and then just have a massive battle that'd be good fun so next upload will be me moving all of this which means that is going to get smashed but to move all of that i need to move all of that and then potentially move all of that as well different day different problem so guys comments below let us know what you think i know this one's been really really rushed this one wasn't thought through whatsoever but at least we've made a little bit of a dent um let us know your thoughts on any of the other sets any of the new modulars any modules that i'm missing you think i should backtrack remember everything that has been done in this whole display is all for a theme park and eventually we're going to connect it all together with tiles which will be an absolute massive order of different bits and pieces loads of minifigures and it's just going to be one fully functional working theme park but i just need to get everything in either rough as it is now and then we can start doing all of this and where we will start is obviously on the batman display with the alleyway across the back because that would be good fun let us know what you think should flow from the alleyway onwards because i'm that far corner over there again i'm not 100 percent sure what to put in with that but we'll worry about that when we come so guys if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel that'd be absolutely fantastic but as always thank you very much for watching you'll take care and i'll the next one Ta -da.